The Scrambler races are a competition held every winter for all physics students. The Scrambler project's been done for about the last eight to nine years. Um, each year it's, you know, we see a little different uh, variation of Scramblers, but it's, it's always interesting to see what the kids come up with. The Scrambler is basically a project uh, that the students have to design a vehicle to uh, travel a certain distance, uh, six, seven, eight, nine meters. And the project itself is based on the things they've learned in physics with mechanics. The students are typically given the project at the beginning of a marking period. Physics students Damon Deck, Zach Glinsky, and Sean Kreider explained the Scrambler competition and their performance. So the whole object of this, um, the whole goal of this uh, project is to drop a brick and that converts potential energy into kinetic energy through the movement of uh, the wheels. We um, have three trials and we try to get the best score. Uh, we've been working on it for about a week outside of class. Um, a series of uh, materials such as wood, mostly pine, and uh, I have a threaded axle and um, you know tape and CDs for our wheels. So a it's bunch a of, hybrid. It's a hybrid. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we scored uh, five millimeters from our target distance, so that was kind of unexpected. Uh, it felt great because um, we spent a lot of time on this project, and it was great to see our hard work pay off. To get the A. At the end of the day, the overall winning team was Morgan Mahout, Frankie Melendez, Griffin Addy, and Emily Staven. So the first run, we played it safe and got the grade we wanted to get. And then the second run, we went a little shorter. And then the third run, we met capitalized and met. Yeah. yeah. Debatably, you got zero. Ran away yeah. with the w. <laughs> yep. More or less. Yeah. It felt really good to win today because we put in so much time and effort, and it paid off. Congratulations to the winning team and everyone who participated. For WHHS, I'm Katie Null.